You know, it's been a year and a half or more since the Venezuelan government started the destruction of a huge area uh, in the Venezuelan Amazonas, in Roraima National Park. This project is called the Orinoco Mining Arc. It has been given to Russian mining companies. Since then, I've been waiting for Greenpeace or any of the other big environmental NGOs to say anything about this. But no, these NGOs that were so active in Venezuela many years ago, I remember, I do remember, they were active demanding that GMOs were banned, demanding that modern agriculture as we know it was bad no herbicides no insecticides no artificial fertilizer they were very active they are so self-righteous that they went to the nazca lines in peru and they destroyed a part of it trying to send a message they destroyed our common cultural heritage what is from every one of us they went and destroyed they don't care Oh, they, because they care about the environment so much. But none of them has said anything about this huge ecocide that's going on in Venezuela with the help of Russian companies. Not even one word. You go to their websites and there's nothing about this. Why? Again, you're so self-righteous, Greenpeace. You go and destroy cultural heritage. Oh, you know, maybe because it's in a country that no one cares for brown people. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Just saying. But in this area, there are endemic species that there are no anywhere else in the world. We don't even know all the biodiversity that's being destroyed right now by the Venezuelan government and Russian companies. And of course, you know, this is precisely the why support the animals. Because if we had income from agriculture, from modern high production agriculture done sustainably, taking care of the soil with no till methods that are available to us now because of roundup resistance traits will be like Argentina or Brazil who will be needing so desperately money uh, that we needed to kill this huge area of uh, the Roraima National Park because I think that when we have better agriculture our people are well fed we can sell seeds and we can make them uh, available to people Greenpeace not only have destroyed the Nazca lines, they have destroyed experimental fields of golden rice. They are not allowing all these people, all these children, to have access to this. It will improve their lives. It certainly won't be a perfect solution. Nothing is ever perfect. But in all these 17 years since golden years has been on trials, has done anything they can to prevent this. But you know what? Despite all their talk that no, we need golden rice to solve these problems, these problems still remain unsolved. But of course, a lot of us know that many, not all, but many hardcore environmentalists, they don't care about people. They supposedly care about the planet, about the ecosystem, about Mother Gaia. But even so, they have remained silent about these atrocities that are going right now in Venezuela at the environmental level. So, Greenpeace should stop being so self-righteous. So, hypocritical about caring about the environment because they have had enough time and they haven't said a word they have remained silent they don't care about people as their stance on other rights
shows. They don't care about the environment, as their silence about the Orinoco mining art says. What do they care about? Money and ideology. Publicity. That's all they care about. Greenpeace, you're not friends of the environment. You're not friends of people. You're not friends of mine. The true friends of the environment, the true friends of people, will study anything and will try to understand what really makes a sustainable world, even if it's yucky to them. If nuclear makes sense, GMOs make sense, then we'll accept it. That's what a true friend of the environment does. But of course, that will demand 